closing the barn door after the horse has left. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. So we're about to bring 25,000 Syrian refugees to Canada by the end of the year. That's like importing a, a small town all at once. And only now is Justin Trudeau's idea finally being vetted. The mainstream media in this country didn't bother to do anything other than find people that said, oh yeah, that can be done. People like former Chief of Defense Staff Rick Hillier, who said yes, logistically he could do it. Of course, that was without all the vetting and security and health checks that refugees actually go through. Hillier was just talking about his ability to deliver people. So during the election campaign, where Trudeau made it sound like Canada was doing nothing for poor displaced people, that the Harper government didn't care about drowned dead children, all of it untrue, but all of it echoed in ill-informed media commentary, this grand idea of settling 25,000 refugees by the end of the year was skated past, and now... Only now are we getting to the truth. It's going to be hard to do, very hard to do. And here's another point, most Canadians don't support it. An Angus Reid poll on the incoming government found that Canadians like the idea of Trudeau taking power. They're very open to him, they're optimistic, but they're not on board with some of his key policies. They don't like the rolling back of the tax-free savings limit. They aren't so sure about legalizing pot. And the majority of Canadians say, they don't like the idea of bringing in 25,000 refugees by Christmas. We could have told you that. We reported on polls. We did polls during the election at the height of the chatter over this and found Canadians didn't like the idea. And now Angus Reid, well, they found 51% oppose Trudeau's Syrian refugee plan. Only 39% support it. <clears throat> but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the people think or the logistic experts in refugee resettlement. It's going ahead. Remember when Trudeau's answer to everything was we had to listen to experts? That's not going to happen anymore. Experts in refugee resettlement, such as Brian Dick, he's the Mennonite Central Committee's Migration and Resettlement Chair. Uh, this is a group that spends their own time and money resettling refugees from around the world. It's a fairly liberal religious group as well, often critical of the Harper government. They're likely very open to Trudeau and the liberals, but here's what Brian Dick told the Globe and Mail. Everyone I'm talking to who does the logistics for these things says it would be quite challenging to get that many people here by the end of the year. And Dick's not alone in saying this is not an easy task, one fraught with risk. Lawyer Richard Curlin, one of the most knowledgeable voices on the immigration and refugee file, told The Globe that 25,000 refugees by January 1 is possible if incomplete security checks for 25,000 people from the Middle East looks like an acceptable risk. Is it an acceptable risk? It isn't to me. Have you seen Ezra Levant's report on the poll done on Syrians? This isn't a poll of Canadians about Syrians. This is a poll on the views of Syrians on a whole host of topics, from their support for Sharia to their support for ISIS. It found 31% of Syrians support ISIS and their brutal regime. Are those people going to be screened out? If you haven't watched Ezra's report yet, then you need to. A final thought, where will we house 25,000 new people in two months? Do we have that many homes and apartments available? Truth is, they're likely headed to our army bases to live for quite a while until the government figures out what to do with all those people they're bringing here so quickly. Sounds like a fine plan, doesn't it? Here's an idea. Maybe next time there should be more vetting done during an election campaign rather than waiting until the bad ideas are being implemented.